Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Eva Spirit Tarot. This is going to be a general love reading for the Sagittarian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. This reading will not resonate with every single Sagittarius out there, so please bear that in mind. All links to the decks that I use, some more info about me and scheduling a personal reading with me will all be down below in the description box. I have recently uploaded a blog about the basics of tarot reading and channeling, so if you're interested in that, do check it out on my website. That will be down below as well. It is an honor to be of service and do this work. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, and let's get started. Okay, I was feeling energy over here. This collective want to give you a message. These are very light beings that I'm channeling here. It's quite strong energy. So just give me a moment, I'm going to tune in. Sagittarius, please, love, May 2021. All right, well, you got your cards, that was quick. Okay. The first card you've got is Priestess. Uh, immediately what I'm hearing is that um, there's a need to sort of step up to something, um, to show up to something. They're, they're talking about responsibilities um, to, okay, prove worthiness is what they're saying. Um, I don't know if that's the right, if I'm putting it the right way, but, but sort of like um, walking your talk or uh, showing... Um, showing someone what they mean to you. It could also be the other way around, but I'm just um, giving it like how, how they're giving it to me. But yeah, bear in mind, it can be the other way around. Um, somebody needing to, okay, they're saying that somebody, you're losing somebody or something has happened in our relationship. I feel that this is one that's not very long. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking less than a year or a couple of years sort of relationship. This is what I'm picking up. Um, or they're also saying it can be if you just like someone and you're just really starting to get to know each other. But they're saying that someone's interest is, is waning um, because they think that you don't care or you're not interested. They're saying that something happened I and mean, you'll know what it is, whether that was something they saw or something that was said or a conversation. Something happened or didn't happen that or like a holding back of something or a rejection of something that made someone feel that okay i i, I really like I'm, I'm not going to you know come forward again with my energy because i think this person is not interested so uh they're saying that uh, to be bold and to be brave and and if this is somebody that you care for if this is somebody that you can see yourself if, if this is somebody you want um then you need to go for it and step up and 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 um, show them uh, how you feel and sort of open your your heart and uh, they're saying sort of like naked you know but not literally sort of like just having your heart very open and um, you know not being afraid to show them how you feel <clears throat> excuse me yeah the card says how you're being called to step up and lead so it's it's sort of like you not being afraid to uh, make the first move is also the energy that I'm getting so um, that, yeah, so it can also be that if you like someone, you're not sure, don't be afraid to make the first move. Uh, it, be bold and be brave. The second card you've got is Akasha, and it says your your guidance is divinely guided. I love this card. So really it just means that anything that you are setting sail with, it's usually uh, a new endeavor or something that for whatever reason which we know um, for this reading is some sort of challenge. So what they're saying here is that uh, you needn't fear um, that spirit is, is, is behind you and backing you up um, every step of the way. And um, they're, they're saying to follow your inspiration with regards to what you could do. They're, they're saying about being inspired to maybe write a song or or write something they're showing me a lot of white like a white pen or a white notebook or in a in a setting where there's a lot of white um, but they're just giving me this image of poetry or you know something creative as a way to express your feelings and to show uh, what um, 
what this person means to you. So they're saying that the, the what is that? The cupids, they're saying the cupids of the universe, um, the, the beings that carry love, what is that? The beings that carry love frequency. I guess it's sort of like a cupid energy. Oh, okay, they're trying to make a joke. I wasn't getting it. Um, we'll be poking you and, and giving you inspiration about ways that you can woe your love, uh, which is what it, so it's a serenade your love. Yeah, serenade your love. Um, so yeah, that's very nice. So if you get inspiration, you want to tell someone how you feel and you get inspiration about, you know, that's um, these sort of Cupid angels, you know, giving you ideas because you are uh, divinely guided and being inspired to do this and it's going to be good for you. The third card you've got is Imrama. What are you being called to journey to? So there's a there's a sense of expansion and adventure um, in this energy that I'm picking up and it feels to you like taking these steps is really unknown. Uh, they're also wanting to me to remind you that this can also be the other way around where someone out of the blue just sort of serenades you or tells you you know all these things and you had no idea and um and you just you know you think it's the sweetest thing on the planet um but it's it's sort of there's something about this uh, declaration of affection or declaration of love that ignites some kind of new adventure um they're not really giving any indication to me about whether it becomes a serious relationship or, or sort of what happens with that but they're saying that a connection is established that that is very um, sort of kindred. So, and they're saying that what you what you make of it, what you make of that will be up to you. Okay, really nice, really nice. Let's see if we can get one more card. <sighs> yep, we can take from here. Okay, do you have a final card for the Sagittarian Collective please? Regarding love. Sagittarian Collective, please, for love, May 2021. Sagittarian Collective, May 2021. Do you have a message? Thank you. Okay. You got... Elephant, open yourself up to true abundance. Again, very expansive energy. Uh, opening up your, opening yourself up to all the possibilities of the universe itself. Um, this is very similar to the Imrama card. It's about expansion. Um, it, it's sort of okay because they're saying that as a result of this experience, opens up your energy, opens you up to. Being, being sort of brave in other areas of your life or, or just seeing things in a very different way, in a positive way. Oh, and the deer, it says, trust in the support of the universe. That's wonderful. Uh, so really strong energy in this reading of you being guided. So if you're nervous about um, declaring your feelings for someone, just know that uh, spirit is, is with you all the way and they are giving you, whispering in your ear and giving you advice and um, just wanting to sort of say like, it's okay to do this um, this is something that can yield very positive results. They're also wanting to highlight sort of like, don't be too serious about it, you know, have fun with life and have fun with all the all the sort of different experiences that come with uh, love and falling in love and relationships and things like that as well. Okay, Sagittarius, that's what I got for you. I hope that helps. Please like, share, comment and subscribe if you resonate with my work. Thank you so much, take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.